Outdoor Passion is brought to you by Prince Craft Boats, Dominate the Waters, Williams Lures, Trophy Takers for Over 100 Years, Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear, and Rapala World Records, World Class. <laughs> Hello there and welcome to Outdoor Passion. I'm Andrew Carter. We've got another great show for you this week. We're heading to Massachusetts near Boston and Cape Cod. You know, it's almost worth the trip just for the wilderness and the majestic views. We're going to be concentrating our fishing efforts around the islands in Massachusetts Bay. In the early fall, going after monster striped bass, this is a hot spot for giant stripers for sure. On the Novelty Minute, Ray Carignan will tell us all about UV lures and why they're so good. And as always, our technical segment features tips and techniques that will make your next trip even more productive. Be prepared to see some real hot striped bass action. Ray will be fishing with Cirque du Soleil's Danica Lalonde and Andre Morin of Navionics, guided by Sean Ruggi of Riptide Charters. They will show you how to catch these great big bass in this spectacular show. But before we get to that, why don't we take a little peek at this area? Let's watch. The destination of the week is brought to you by Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. The state of Massachusetts is historically one of the most significant regions in America. One special part of this great state is Cape Cod. Along with its rich history, miles of coastline and great beaches, this area also boosts fantastic fishing. Offering many spectacular views of the Atlantic Ocean, its coastal landscape is the gateway to superb striped bass and bluefish. Offering many spectacular views of the Atlantic Ocean, its coastal landscape is the gateway to superb striped bass and bluefish angling. Being a hub along the Atlantic seaboard, visitors can arrive with ease by air, rail, or driving. Catering to the angler, you can enjoy the tranquility of day fishing but can have all the benefits of a bustling metropolitan. Our adventure begins in Winthrop's Harbor, almost within sight of Boston's skyscrapers. Our guide, Sean Ruggi of Riptide Charters, is taking us out for trophy striped bass. A member of Mercury Marine's national team and sponsored by Ray Marine and Rapala, Sean knows his stuff. Being a product manager for Navionics, the world-renowned maker of navigational charts, Sean shares his expertise on how he uses it in his fishing. We've got the right guide and the best gear. We just need the fish. You have to be flexible and willing to go where the fish are. These fish can be very nomadic. Water temperature and tide levels are key to finding them. Luck is on our side. We're right on the action from the get-go. The sheer quantity of fish is unbelievable. Those poor peanut bunkers, a local bait fish, are surrounded by starved stripers and diving seabirds. While we see a lot of smaller stripers slashing bait on the surface, we know down under this bait pod is where the true monsters are hiding. They lie below the bait and wait for the wounded ones to fall down to them. We've spotted a bunch of big marks on the axiom. We're dropping on them as we drift through this pod of fish. A controlled drift is one of the stealthiest approaches. Ray and his guests needs to be on their game and be quick on the rod if they want to hook into these blitzing stripers. Andre is first to smash the hook home. This fish is putting the boots to him. For a walleye and trout guy, this first striper is a big wake-up call. He's never had a walleye fight like this.
we're still all in shock over the strength and endurance of these saltwater fish. We're a bit worried as Sean isn't planning on using a net. He's going to reach down and manhandle this big fish. Sean is an animal. You can tell this isn't his first attempt at landing a striper by hand. You can tell that Sean has earned his stripes the hard way. Finally, we can admire the legendary bass of Cape Cod. What a magnificent beast. So silvery, so streamlined. We've got this one in 15 feet of water, bouncing bait along the edge of a tapering underwater point. This is a great introduction to saltwater for our fellow Navionics teammate, Andre. What an awesome bass. We're pumped for another one. The state daily bag limit is one striped bass measuring over 28 inches long. You have to measure from the tip of the snout to the farthest tip of the tail. Catch and release is very popular here, which is one reason why the numbers of giant stripers is so high. Just when the boat is nearing a large pile of submerged rocks, raise into one. Whoa, the battle is on. Striped bass are wickedly powerful and their stamina makes them one of the most sought after game fish in this region. Sean's showing why he's fearless, another one falling to his iron grip. Stripers are prolific spawners and grow rapidly. This species is highly sought after throughout its range, which extends from the St. Lawrence River all along the eastern seaboard down to the Gulf. Keep up the good work. Let's go for a 50 now. They've been transplanted into lakes, rivers, and reservoirs in at least 32 states. Great fighters, they make even better table fare. Their white meat and medium texture make them very popular. Bad news for the area's bait fish, we're releasing this guy. We owe our quick success to Navionics and our Ray Marine unit. Being able to pull up the highly detailed chart on our unit makes finding perfect striper spots so easy. We got a school at 20 feet. So let your lures get down. On any water, you need to know where you're going and how to get there safely. The detailed mapping systems lets us drive to where we want to fish and get back without fear. I woke you up. Oh boy. Another heavyweight slams Andre's bait. This is helping fuel his newly found addiction to striper fishing. That should be a little better fish. That's another over 30 inch. A lot of times these big boys hang out in the deep water and just cruise. They'll wait for the tide to turn and push current over structure. This one bit over a jagged section of the reef. On the outgoing tide, Sean had to adjust and slow down the presentations while still trying to cover lots of territory. Drifting bait is usually the best choice. If the wind kicks up a bit too much, you can control the boat with a drift sock so the bait can remain under the boat. This is a more natural presentation that works well on the real monsters. The best tool for finding fish and adjusting our presentation is undoubtedly our Raymarine Axiom unit. It's powerful, clear, and so easy to operate. The user-friendly main screen interface gives instant access to all essential functions. Options and displays are very intuitive compared to other electronics. Viewing the screen, the structure, cover, game fish, and even bait are crystal clear even with a bad glare. After spotting some surface activity, Ray opts for a different approach using a naturally colored wild eye shad. This has to work. You cannot go wrong when you have a swim bait that matches the size and coloration of the bait fish these stripers love to eat. 
It's also a huge bonus when there's so many bass in one area. Wow! You know you've got them dialed in when you're hooked up on the first cast. Ray was lightning fast on the hook set on this one. The Magnum Rod and Concept Reel combo should be good enough to keep this fish out of the snaggy bottom. With saltwater fish, you just never know. Ah. Boy, this fish is powerful. It's a lot of tail surface area. Ray's Wild Eye Shad is a great alternative to dragging live bait. This kind of action is very typical for Sean Rougie's Riptide Charters. These saltwater beauties have distinct lateral lines painted across their sides. It makes sense why they got the name Striped Bass. They're almost invisible in this water. They seem to come out of nowhere and swallow up bait. When you have the bait down its throat like this one, you know you're feeding them the right lure. Ray loves to use that smell gel scent and it seems to work great. Saltwater fishing is always a thrill. The fish, the action, and the fight. There's nothing like it. Along with the Wild Eye Shad, the Storm 360 GT search bait did very well. Its ultra-realistic custom-built head features a sound chamber that calls in the bass. The Storm 6-inch Wild Eye Shad swim bait is a proven winner for years at landing truly mammoth stripers. Available in a range of colors, there's one that will work for any fishing condition you'll face. We even had some great action on the Z-Man Swimmer Z. This one's a super choice as its plastic is almost indestructible. The Elastec material is so flexible and floats which gives it a totally unique action. Uh, you see them swimming. We were lucky enough to have Cirque du Soleil's Danica Lalonde with us. Oh, right down by the pier. We'll drift right down into that. They're banging peanut bunker around. Her timing couldn't be better. Sean has just discovered a great new area thick with stripers. We're looking for another feeding frenzy. Birds dive bombing the water. Game fish below swiping the surface, gobbling up bait. It's more like hunting than fishing out here. It's up to us to approach quietly and cast directly into this craziness. Danica isn't known for letting an opportunity like this pass by. She's on full alert from the first cast, ready for something to munch her lure. Wee -hee -hee -hee. <laughs> nice. During the fight, it pays to be observant. If you're lucky, an even bigger fish can be seen cruising right beside the hooked fish. Sometimes they even try to steal the bait. This big boy couldn't stand the rattle and vibration of her bait. Oh, it's a nice one. Can you grab it? The large plastic tail action of Danica's lure did what it was supposed to do, which is to catch lots of stripers in a day's fishing. Danica caught this fish with a sneakier approach by using a lighter jig. The lazier big fish just seemed to react better to this more natural presentation. This could be the ticket for a record striper. When striped bass are actively chasing prey, they herd them towards the surface or against a solid piece of structure. This helps corral the bait, making them easy pickings. Birds take note and join in the feeding. When the bait is busting and the stripers are munching, it's time to throw a big top water. Danica's philosophy is to release every fish she lands. It's better for the fishery and ensures that there's always one left for the next time.
The Boston Cape Cod area is the place to go if you're into fabulous striper fishing. Hopefully, we'll see you there on our return trip for more Super Striper action. The destination of the week was brought to you by Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear. Now that was really something. It wasn't it amazing to see that monster striper following the fish that Danica had on the line? The second day there was a big storm hovering around Boston, so we hooked up the Raymarine radar to the Axiom, and that managed to give us a few extra hours of productive fishing. Finally, we had to quit when it caught up with us. Here, try a faster lure retrieve. The fish just seemed to react better. It's hard to beat a wildly aggressive approach. When we come back on the Novelty Minute, everything you need to know about UV spoons and why we should use them. And as always, our technical segment will show you tips and techniques to help you catch a lot more big fish as Outdoor Passion continues. After these messages, it's fishing with UV reactive spoons. Stay with us. Did you know that all Princecraft boats are built entirely in Canada in a small town called Princeville in the province of Quebec? Every day, over 300 employees put their talents together to design, assemble, and deliver some of the best built boats in the industry. Princecraft works also with local Canadian component suppliers to ensure the best quality throughout their boats. By purchasing a Princecraft boat, you are supporting the overall Canadian economy and community. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. On the way again! Ah, on the moose! Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Look. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories. Because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparels ensures your total comfort. Created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out SportChief.com. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance. New advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance. The mono that thinks it's a braid. For more than six decades, Princecraft has been renowned for building the best aluminum boats. Experts have consistently relied on Princecraft for its quality, durability, reliability, and performance. Whether it's fishing, water sports, or simply enjoying the water with friends and family, Princecraft has a wide range of products that will suit all your needs. Get yourself the exceptional quality and performance that only a Princecraft boat can provide you. Go to Princecraft.com to build and price your boat or to view our full assortment of products. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. The Novelty Minute is brought to you by Princecraft Boats. Dominate the waters. Time now for the Novelty Minute and look at this big boy. So this is the same color that you used to catch the 25 pound rainbow. Exactly. The first time I used this new UV color, I caught a 25 pound rainbow. We can see the footage. What a fight. It's a fish of a lifetime. So I was skeptical at first, but after catching this fish, I can tell you that UV colors really work. 
You know, uh, even rocket scientists are working on lures now. We first had the fluorescent lures, then the phosphorescent lures, which are glow in the dark. Now we have the UV lures. You see in the packaging UV, it means they react to UV rays, which are much different in the light rays that we see, that we can see with the human eye. So the UV rays can be seen a lot further underwater. When the light ray disappears, the UV ray is still there, even in deeper water, so the fish can really see them. So that's why with the UV reactive lures, we can add more productivity to our lures because they can be seen further with more flash. Those UV lures can really gleam under low light conditions, stained waters, and in clear water, in really, really deep water, you will see a big difference. So we have uh, certain colors that work much better in combination with a UV reactive lure. So we have the yellow and orange. This is a great color combination. It creates a lot of contrast. Plus in the back you have genuine silver plating. So this precious metal will add some flash to the UV effect. And again, it will bring a lot more fish to the net. And uh, this color is available on many William lures, including the new whitefish. You know, uh, big predators, they love to eat small whitefish. So this lure really creates what they're looking for. And also, uh, there is another pattern that is wonderful with UV reactive lure. It's called Fire Tiger. So you have orange, yellow, green plus some black accent this is the ultimate contrast with the uv effect plus the silver plating you have a killer lure for pike salmon trout bass and this pattern is available also on the new uh, williams wobbler in different sizes and two other patterns that i like a lot in uv lures is orange silver so this is a great uv combination orange fluorescent orange i mean with the precious metal the silver and uh, it's also available in chartreuse silver which again is a great uv combination you got the uv effect on the chartreuse color which is like yellow or fluorescent yellow these two patterns are available on the new williams bully which is a heavy lure you can fish deep with this lure you can even do some jigging with your lure or just cast it out across the river it's a heavy weight lure and if you're using non-uv lures well i recommend to use the blue color because blue is the last color to disappear in deep water so it can be seen again a lot further and these three colors are available in the bully so uh, i think with these the poor fish, they don't stand a chance. I don't think they do at all. <laughs> and now with enhanced visibility on your side, it's time to learn some deadly tactics with our technical segment. Boat theft and onboard equipment burglary have seriously increased in the last few years. This type of crime happens at marinas or when parked in the driveway or at road stops. The new Bolt system uses your vehicle key for its padlocks. Just insert your key and the initial turn will set the lock to that key's code. These padlocks programmable internal cylinders means an end to searching for the right key and no need to remember combinations for locks you rarely use. To lock down your trailer coupler, nothing beats a Bolt padlock. They should always be the first item protected. It can prevent a tollway attempt. Bolt padlocks feature pick-proof six-plate tumblers, strong automotive-grade stainless steel and weather-resistant shutters. They are protected by rugged jacket seals. They can't be weakened by liquid nitrogen freezing. With the Bolt system, it's possible to secure a fleet of boats with just one key pattern. This padlock will secure most types of couplers with its nickel-plated hardened steel shackle. It will discourage any thief from taking off with your boat. The swing tongue option on some trailers is a practical solution for smaller garages. It shortens the total length. Just remove the pin and swing away. It's a very effective way to prevent theft if the owner inserts one or two tongue locks. Once installed, it's impossible to drive off with the boat trailer rig. 
A rugged jacket seals out the elements and protects your gear. A weather-resistant shutter protects the key entry by sealing out dirt and dust. A spring clip keeps the unit in place to facilitate installation. Stop the worries of losing your hitch on the road by installing a receiver lock. This lock provides security from theft and peace of mind on difficult roads. The rig will stay fixed and it will prevent any serious problem from happening. Again, the same key is used to secure a bolt cable lock around the spare tire. It is made with a nearly indestructible cable resistant to shearing. Protecting valuable items from theft is now a lot easier. This bolt coatable unit comes with a six foot long coiled cable that is handy to protect all kinds of items. Modern rigs are an expensive investment for today's boater. All this sophisticated equipment needs to be protected. Using specialized anti-theft products can lower premiums with insurance companies. It's an additional advantage to the great protection offered by these fine products. After these messages, more tips on striped bass angling, stay with us. Did you know that all Princecraft boats are built entirely in Canada in a small town called Princeville in the province of Quebec? Every day, over 300 employees put their talents together to design, assemble, and deliver some of the best built boats in the industry. Princecraft works also with local Canadian component suppliers to ensure the best quality throughout their boats. By purchasing a Princecraft boat, you are supporting the overall Canadian economy and community. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. On the way again! On the moose look! Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Luck. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparels ensures your total comfort, created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out sportchief.com. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance, new advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance, the mono that thinks it's a braid. For more than six decades, Princecraft has been renowned for building the best aluminum boats. Experts have consistently relied on Princecraft for its quality, durability, reliability, and performance. Whether it's fishing, water sports, or simply enjoying the water with friends and family, Princecraft has a wide range of products that will suit all your needs. Get yourself the exceptional quality and performance that only a Princecraft boat can provide you. Go to Princecraft.com to build and price your boat or to view our full assortment of products. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. Well, we had another great trip this week to the Boston area. We also learned that it doesn't matter how good the lure is, you need to know how to use it. Exactly. You really have to study the tidal movements to really use the good techniques because the stripers can be caught many, many different ways. You can catch them jigging, trolling, 
and even drifting with live bait. So depending on the tide's movement, you will choose the right techniques. We made a aggressive approach. We cast it out and with sharp twitch and jerks, we were really making those stripers mad. We were using the Storm 360 GT lure, the Mr. Twister Sassy Shad, the big one, and also the Z-Man six inches lures. Plus, uh, we even used the Storm Wild Eye Shad. So we were really mimicking the natural prey they were chasing. Uh, we were using natural colors. I suggest on your next trip around the Boston area to try the striper. They are wonderful sports fish, plus they are great to eat. Yeah, when are you gonna have us over for dinner, Ray? Yeah, Seriously. Very soon. Thank you very much for watching this week on Outdoor Passion. Hope you learned something that's gonna make your next outing even more successful. Remember, if you do get a chance to get out this week, try to leave things just a little cleaner than when you found them. See you next time on Outdoor Passion. Outdoor Passion was brought to you by Rapala World Records World Class, Princecraft Boats, Dominate the Waters, Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear, and Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. information or to contact us visit our website at www.outdoorpassion.tv